Hi, today we're going to talk about division. Now anybody that worked with me in the last two years probably already knows how to do what I call short division. Does 9 go into 6? It does not. So then we see if 9 goes into 65. 9 goes into 65 seven times with a remainder of 2. We put the 2 in front of the next number we haven't used yet. 9 goes into 27 three times and we're done. However, you also need to understand how to do long division now for when the numbers get bigger. Let me show you first with a small number and then with a larger number. Here's how long division works. It's really very similar. It's the same thing as short division except you write more. 9 does not go into 6. So now we, again, just as with short division, we say, does 9 go into 65? It does how many times? 7. The biggest difference in long division is instead of just mentally thinking 65 minus 63, we have to write it down. And then we subtract, and either way, we still get that same 2 as a remainder. We bring down the next number, and that forms 27. 9 goes into 27 three times. When there is nothing else to bring down, that's when you know you're done. Now, if you have 9 outside the box, short division will probably be easier for you. But, with larger numbers, it can be a little trickier. See, you knew you could figure out how many times 9 went into 65, but this is a little tougher. Does 27 go into 8? No. Does 27 go into 85? It has to because 85 is bigger than 27. How many times? It actually goes in three times. But for most people, it's easier now to write what 27 times 3 is and do the subtraction that it is to do this mentally. 3 times 27 is 81. We subtract, we have 4. We bring down the next number. 27 goes into 44 one time. 1 times 27 is 27. 17, and since we have no other numbers to bring down, that is the remainder. If you are watching this lesson, please write the word Denver on your paper. Thank you.